Hi everyone. So now we'll learn that how we can use activity indicator in React Native. Some people call it uh, loader also. So if you want to call it loader or activity indicator or indicator, then all are fine. It's totally up, up to you. Now let's start with the point. So first of all, I'll tell you what is the use of activity indicator. I know that you already know the purpose of activity indicator, but again, I'll explain it a bit. And uh, after that, we will check out some common props of activity indicator, like how we can change the size, how we can change the color and all. And uh, then uh, we will uh, create a button, and, but on button press, we will uh, display a activity indicator and that will disappear after some second. Like uh, in normal API call, once we want to call an API, after pressing the button, API data will be fast and uh, loader is disappear. With the same way, we, we, we just create an example of that, right? So first question is why we use activity indicator. See, whenever we want to show uh, any progress for a long time execution, uh, or you can say that we want to just show any continuity of activity, that time we use a loader or a spinner and we call it uh, activity indicator. Right. Why this is required? Because let's say uh, you are just fetching some data uh, and uh, user just press a button. After that, uh, maybe code execution or uh, result fetching may take some time like 5 or 6 or 7 seconds. That time, if uh, there is nothing happening over, over the screen, user may be confused like uh, my, maybe internet is not working, maybe this app is not responding and all. Right. So to just uh, convey to the user like uh, something is happening in the background we just uh, showing this activity indicator all right okay so now how we can use it let's check out with the code so this is our app.js file and inside this app component we will write our code and this is our emulator uh, for a moment this is blank because we don't we didn't uh, put some content there so let's see that how we can just show a basic activity indicator. For that, you have to import it from React Native Library. Activity indicator and you can simply use it like this with self-closing tags. Here you can see that we have very small, small, tiny activity indicator. So now uh, you may be say that, uh, can we increase the size of it? Yes, so there is a, prop size and we can change the size let's say large and here you can see that we have a bit bigger uh, activity indicator but let's say still you are not satisfied with this and you want to uh, increase size more that time you can simply use let me just uh, comment it out because i just want to make this uh, property visible there right so you can simply put your uh, uh, size in the uh, numeric values let's say just put there 100 and here we go now we have a bit bigger activity indicator even you can just change you can provide any size to it whatever you want let's say 300 that will still work fine right but 100 is okay and now let's say you want to change the color of it and just put their color is let's say red or green whatever you want to put perfect so these are the two properties third property is there which is uh, animating and if you just make it false with the boolean value then that's that will uh, just hide from the screen and if you just make it again true this will be visible like this right so let me just create a button and uh, by default this that, that will be false right and on the button click i want to just uh, uh, display or you can see that show this activity indicator and after some time that will be hide from there so let me just put the title let's say you can put the name of this is activity indicator right and uh, that's all yep so now let's take a state uh you might be wondering that how this content is uh, coming in the center because i just put a uh, bit style uh, in the main view right that's why if you just uh, comment it out then you will find that this is that will be in the top of our screen so now let's uh, take a const or we are simply just uh, taking a react state there so show set show 
are our state and we are importing it from use state by default value could be false as we want to make our uh, activity indicator false by default so let's put this value and mid value uh, show as a false because by default value is false so if i just make it true by default then you can see that there is activity indicator but as i told you this will be false by default and now i am creating a function there let's say my function name is display loader and that could be again a const and here i will put this set show true by default right and once i will click on activity indicator this function should be called so let me just put there on press and display let me just fix this typo yeah so i am just clicking over there after just calling this function the indicator will be visible because the value of show state will be true here we can see that right but as i told you like uh, let's say you are calling a api on button press so an api is just uh, returning the result uh, in 5 second or 3 second right so this activity indicator should visible for 5 or 3 second and once api data will be just fetched then this should be uh, hidden right so what we can do there we can just put their set timeout because uh, we have to learn that how we can call api and that we learn in the upcoming part upcoming uh, parts but now let's uh, just simply use uh, set timeout to just show some uh, you can say that time delay right so let me put there uh, three seconds and set show will be false after three seconds that means that indicator will be visible for uh, uh, three seconds and after that uh, this will be hide automatically it will hide right so let me this is just refreshing our screen yeah so i am clicking over activity indicator and just after three seconds this uh, indicator will be hide here you can see that let me just show you again so with that way. all right so that's all for this part and interviews they can ask like uh, what is the use of activity indicator can we display two activity indicator in a same uh, component yes we can show the two or more than two also there is a no issue at all with that here you can see that we have two activity indicator with a similar list right and uh, one more thing let's say you want to just uh, hide and show this activity indicator without using animating property then how you can do that so for simply just copy this button and uh, let me just put their show condition if show is true then we can show this uh, activity indicator sorry not this button actually we need to use this activity indicator and we can hide first one like this and uh, if value of show is false then we can hide it and let me just put it out uh, upside that uh, button and let me just uh, and we don't need this actually animating property right and now you will find that there is there will be two activity indicator one we are hiding and showing with a different way and second with the different way here we go and there will be no time delay at all so both will work fine so there is a two way to just use the activity indicator so that's all thank you so much for watching this video and uh, this is uh, my paytm number for donation and i will request you to please support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in the comment section